Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Grandia. Last time we got the letter of introduction from the museum curator so we can go to the Salt Ruins and check out the, um, the ruins there, explore and see if our spirit stone is any good. So before we go, there is a general store here in Parm where you can buy some stuff if you need to. Um, you might want to go ahead and buy some better weapons, but I really don't think it's necessary. The weapons that we have right now are perfectly fine. Uh, there are some armor upgrades here, but just like the weapon upgrades are perfectly fine, so are the armor up or so is the armor that we already have. So I'm not going to purchase any weapons or armor for right now. I'm just going to move on with life. So just exit the town. We're on the continent of Messina, and there is no real world map. This is all we get, but we need to go to Marna Road. So here we have save point. If you want to use that, we can. Um, but let's look around. Oh, a shiny! Woohoo! Every time that you pick up an item, it's going to ask if you want to automatically just grab it, if you want to manually grab it, if you just want to use the item, discard it, or discard something from your inventory. So, for the most part- Whoa! Hit auto. Lovely. Yeah, we're ambushed because they got me from behind. That's great. So, here we have our battle system. We can combo with just two attacks, which is really nice. If you use a critical hit on an enemy, that's going to send them back to the beginning of the little weight gauge in the bottom right hand corner. You can defend, look at a monster to kind of examine them. Um, this doesn't waste a turn though, so it's kind of nice. You can escape the battle, you can change your tactics if you ever want to use um, party tactics or anything like that, you know, automatic control. I'll probably never use that. Use items or you could use moves or magic. Um, so, yeah, there's some decent stuff here, but I'm not gonna worry about this stuff. Actually, you know what, let's, well, why not? Whatever, we'll use a puffy kick. Whatever, who cares? <laughs> um, and for you, yeah, we got some moves over here. We'll use a V-slash. Why not? Okay, some things that you'll notice. Um, I got some weapon skill points there because, you know, Justin and Sue attacked. So I got extra weapon skills. So that's very nice. And um, the reason why I said who cares, you can go to the save point, hit recover, boom. We got all of our SP back. So it really doesn't matter. Um, I figured might as well go ahead and use it when we're so close to the save point anyway. Get some gold. And let's see, over here, we have something called a dungeon scope. We're monsters! I'm really bad at this. Wow, I keep on getting ambushed. This sucks. Yikes. Okay, so this guy's getting close to me, so let's go ahead and attack that one. And let's see, we'll have Justin attack the same one. Although, I'll probably get screwed that way. Uh-oh. Yikes! Oh no! Sue's getting disoriented. That kind of sucks. Uh, so what I like to do, let's see, this guy's up next in the attack gauge, so let's go after him, especially because he is low on HP anyway. Now let's go after this one, because he's about ready to attack as well. The nice thing about combo is that you get the two attacks, so if the first attack kills an enemy, then the second attack can go ahead and attack you know, another close-by enemy. There we are. We won. I love the battle system in this game. It's so good. So Justin got 30 weapon points, and Sue only got 20 because Justin attacked more than Sue did. Okay, anyway, this dungeon scope. Hit the A button, and it basically casts the sight spell from Final Fantasy IV for you, so you can see around the dungeon a little bit better. Let's also talk about the compass. Um, the red part of the compass is always north, so you can orientate yourself. And then the little yellow- oh, I didn't see the enemy there. The little yellow pointer up there is going to point to your destination. So if you're ever wondering where you actually need to go, where the exit to the dungeon is, just follow that yellow pointer. Grab some more gold. Awesome. And let's see, cross the bridge. And we have another little dungeon viewer. Whoa! Okay, so where I want to go to now is over here. Whoa! Man, I'm getting really bad at actually seeing these enemies. 
They really do keep on ambushing me constantly. Grab some more herbs. And let's be on our way. Uh-oh. These guys, these guys are like blocking the exit. But at least I was able to get an initiative on them, so that's something. Anyway, over... Whoa! Ooh, got a level up in a jeep and growth spurt. Awesome. And what do we have? Uh, hey, a baton. Very cool. Uh, let's see. Who do I want to do? Um, let's see. The baton, it's actually the same thing as the sword that we have there, so let's try out uh, for her. Oh, it's much better than the wooden pole. So we can go ahead and give that to her. Another thing that we got last battle, if I go to, I think it's under moves. No, so it must be under status then. Yeah, okay, so Justin learned or, or gained a weapon level with his sword, so that's pretty nice there. So yeah, let's keep on working on that sword. That's all the treasure that we can get in the Marna Road area, so hopefully I can avoid these freaking monsters! And we can make some time and get out of here. There we go. Yeah, just follow that little yellow pointer and you'll be fine. So this must be the excavation site. Lots of soldiers around here. Must be the Garlisle forces. The ones that Air Mullen is commanding. Huh, we have some unique sprites down there. I wonder who they are. Maybe they're really nice girls. I hope so. Whoa, that thing is freaky as hell. It's kind of like the Cave of Wonders out of Aladdin. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Hey there. Hey, we have a letter of introduction. We can come in. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Attention! Soldiers fall in! Salute! Listen up! After traveling all the way from the new continent, we won't tolerate failure. Be sharp out there. Meet at the stage on level one. Call roll by regiment as soon as you arrive. And stand by for orders. Ten shut! Fall in! Right face! March! Double time! Say, Saki. It was your troops who made us late. Aren't you a little lax on discipline? Don't give me that, Nana. The last time they were late, I made them all give me 3,000 squats. Oh, Saki. You're such a muscle friend. I'd make them go without rations for 100 days. Oh, Neo, you're too kind. If it were me, I'd give them 5,000 lashes. Then I'd pickle them in brine and give them 100 days in the brig. <laughs> that would kill us. If Herr Mullen were to get wind of that, he'd have your head. No problem. I just swear him to secrecy, and Herr Mullen would never be the wiser. <laughs> oh. Come on. We need to get going, too. Or we'll be late for the rendezvous. Right, Neo. If we were to be late, it'd be hard to keep from the crew. Oh, the bitch trio. Yeah, they rear their ugly head. Oh, hey. So we have Gantz and we have Gantz. I guess Gantz is Gantz's older brother, I imagine? Hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. He must be uh, very different from his little brother. I'm just guessing that they're brothers. Who knows? I don't know. Oh. Huh, that is a good point. Why is he here? What does he want? A time capsule? And something tells me that's not it. Really? Kind of 
unusual how Aaron Mullen's so nice, but then he has his troops under control of those three freaking bitch faces. Like, I don't understand that. Like, how, how, how could you have, like, a really, really, really nice colonel, and then he puts his troops under, you know, these horrible women? So, Aaron Mullen can't be that nice if he's doing that. <laughs> Boondock ruins. <laughs> um, whatever you say, Sue. Okay, so we've talked to some people. Let's head down inside the ruins, though. Uh-oh. But I have a letter of introduction! Oh, really? Huh. According to the instruction manual, General Ball's Garlisle forces are the private security forces of the Jewel Foundation, which is the factory that powers harm if you caught that <laughs> yeah no kidding wow are you like stuck over here you're in charge you're high ranking Maybe he was made colonel at a young age because he's General Ball's son. Just saying. Maybe there's some nepotism going on. <laughs> yeah, good for you, Justin. Uh-oh, monsters! Oh, um, that's not what he was saying, Sue. Oh, yikes, maybe he was. Yeah, we're not monsters. Wow, you're crazy. Hey there, ladies. We have a letter, and you're so nice, you're gonna let us in, right? Uh-oh. I don't want to get thrown into the brig. Um, let's see, let's just show him the letter to get inside. Yeah. So you have to let us in. Not suspicious in the least. Whoa! What the hell? What are you doing? You bitches. Oh, I hate them. Wow. Wait, torture us? Execute us? Oh, man. These girls, like, there's something else. No kidding. Oh, yeah, there's nothing that we can do here. Yeah, we can't back down. We've got to go in there. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and save. I got that taken care of. Another thing that you can do at save points is you can actually get a hint. So, yeah. It's not really giving you a hint about, um, you know, what to do next, but giving you a hint about how to survive in combat, so I guess that's good. Oh, okay. Okay, so yeah, I'll get a little hint there. And let's see, we'll talk to this guy. Oh! Travels of Eloise? What's that? It's a book? Wait, what? Why would that book be inside the ruins? I'm kind of confused. What is this, a Legend of Heroes game? So we're gonna have to collect novels too? Oh, yeah. They are rather threatening. Huh. Well, uh, just as a point. Well, let's just head on inside, then. Garlisle Force, Mullen Company, fall in! Face forward! Salt Ruin Special Survey Team, 
Roll call. Squad leaders, front and center. Sergeant Nana, leader of the Bloody Rose Squad reporting. Sergeant Saki, leader of the Lightning Star Squad. All men accounted for. Sergeant Neo, leader of the Desert Moon Squad. All men present. Colonel Mullen will now address the troops before deployment. All soldiers, listen carefully. Yes, yes Lieutenant. Lieutenant. My dear soldiers, our squad will now commence the final excavation of the Salt Ruin. Operation Yudrasil is entering the final stage. Now we only have to find the last remaining piece. I need to remind you that the depths of these ruins are dangerous. You may even be risking your life. However, this is our time. You, the Honorable Garlisle Forces, will bring a great boon to humanity. Go! You, the elite of Garlisle, will open the door to the wisdom of the ancient Angelo civilization. I am counting on every one of you. Yes, sir. Bloody Rose Squad, you take the east. Lightning Star Squad has the west. Desert Moon Squad, take the south. You have your assignment. We're counting on you. Good luck. Yes, yes Lieutenant. Lieutenant. The time is 15.06 hours. All squads have begun operations. Hmm. Lean. You've also become quite an able aide de camp. Huh? Oh, uh, thank you, Herr Mullen. <laughs> well, let's get to work ourselves. Let's go, Lean. Yes, sir. Wow. Yeah, the secrets of the ancient Angelo civilization are here. Huh. Well, let's go exploring. Let's try to figure it all out. And let's get some treasure while we're at it. Uh-oh. And monsters! Yeah, plenty of those around here. Uh-oh, slimes? Okay, so for the most part, against all the monsters in here, as well as the monsters on Mana Road, you pretty much just want to use combo because you will be able to deal you know the most damage with that and these monsters aren't that threatening as you can see they're kind of slow not really doing much so basically just the quickest way to take them out is by uh just using the combo attacks okay let's see what else we got going on here yeah the dungeons in this place can be kind of odd We've never seen him in person. Yeah, no kidding. Huh. I don't know what the deal is. Yeah, you see how, like, it's just, whoa! Like, the monster or the, not the monsters, the dungeons are just kind of difficult to navigate, I've got to say. Oh, uh, let's see, we'll go ahead and use a combo on these bats there. And I'm gonna show off a critical, just in case. Okay, so this guy right here is um, using the little yellow charging attacks, so we'll go after him first. Bam! Yeah, wanted to get rid of that guy. Whoa. Seems like every time that Sue gets hit, she always gets kind of stunned, which kind of sucks, but all right, oh well. we won. She is still just, you know, a little girl after all. What do we have here? Why is this thing shaking like that? That's whoa! Scary! Oh. Yeah. Don't you think it's kind of unusual how there are no other women in the army, yet all the people in charge are women? I mean, maybe it's just me, but I think that's weird, to say the least. Oh, I don't want to fight you! But I do want to get whatever this is. Hey, hey, some more gold. Awesome. Oh, it's these bitches again. 
Uh, jealousy rears its ugly head. Well, she is like second in command, isn't she? Oh, really? Hiccup incessantly. I thought you were going to say you were going to poison her or something. <laughs> oh, these girls. They're ridiculous. Yeah, we can't actually talk to them or approach them or anything else like that. Oh, well, that's horrible. Yeah, the demise of the woman is going to be hiccuping. You can put your men in the brig and give him a thousand lashes, but the woman that you can't stand, you can only do some sort of hiccup revenge. Okay. Oh, no. Yeah, you're not you're not paid to give an opinion. You're paid to find Whoa! Treasure! Which we couldn't get to because that trap went and uh, screwed us out of it. But we can get this gold. Awesome. It is pretty dangerous. There's been a lot of traps so far. Oh, a strange statue. Huh. Ghosts? Well, it must be really important for, uh... You know, the colonel himself to be here. Yeah. What's going on with ghosts, though? What in the world is here? Ooh, we got a shin shoe, or a shiny shoe. Really, it should be. Uh, let's see. That's... Oh, it looks like it's the same thing as our sneakers, so I'm not gonna worry about that. But let's see if... It's... Oh, it is. It's much better than, the... than Sue's dress shoes. So, whoa! I don't want to fight you, but I do want to get this gold! Yikes. Awesome. Whoa. Let's just keep going through here. I think that there's some people down here that I forgot to, to talk to. Yeah. Oh. What newbie? Hmm. Yeah, it's dangerous for him to go alone, but I'm not alone. I have Sue at my side. I'll be fine. Did I? Yeah, okay, I already got that treasure in there. Yeah, you really gotta be spinning this camera around constantly to make sure that you get everything that you can. Oh, there's a super secret shortcut here. Huh. Who knew? Yeah, but this is the thing about this dungeon. It's just kind of ridiculous to navigate. But anyway, we're going to save here and continue going through the Salt Ruins next time on Let's Play Grandia. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.